What is happening guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. Exploring the areas just outside of Patiti. Let's go straight over towards that. I'm sure there's a lot more. Ooh, challenge tomb. What? Pause. Pause where? Where? Uh oh. Wild jungle base camp. Where? Where? Where is that? I didn't see the wild. I didn't see the camp or the, the tomb. Where? Where? This. Follow this. I feel like these are going to lead me to the challenge tomb. If you're ever unsure where to go, skulls are usually a good indicator. will be good to do to kind of break up just the exploring or not the exploring but you know the the loot collection like I like I like running around town and getting loot I like exploring the town and seeing the stuff um, and obviously most importantly getting the goodies but I feel that too much of that will definitely uh, ooh, this looks fucking fun yeah let's just swim into this thing's mouth um, but too much just going around and collecting loot it definitely will dilute the experience of the game. You know, it starts to get a little, just a little like, all right, well, this is boring. I want something else to do. So a challenge tomb is a really good way to, to mix things up. Bit of a grim welcome. I'll have to watch my step. Yeah, you could say that. Come here, I wanted you. Back. Yeah, there we go. I make that jump. Oh, cannot. Cannot make that jump. I think that's one thing that I like a lot about Tomb Raider is like, you know, I'm doing these jumps where I'm like not entirely sure if I can make them. And so, you know, in a lot of games, the idea of just dying like that is really, um, really no bueno, you know, like, oh, fuck that. I don't want to die. You know, I got, I got stuff I got to do. But in Tomb Raider, I don't feel bad about dying as long as it means that I'm Know, discovering progress which I think is important you know like in, in certain games you shouldn't be afraid to die and I think this is one of them whereas like in something like Outlast like in, in Outlast dying doesn't feel oh, dying just feels pointless because it's just like so alright we're seeing similar to Outlast like right here I die and I'm rewinded a very short distance, whereas an oh, mm, an outlast. When I die, I only loaded a very short distance. But in this game, I'm dying because I'm jumping for ledges and seeing if I can grab stuff and testing the limits of Lara, which is fun. Whereas an outlast, when it's happening, oh fuck. You know, it's just well, can I sneak past this guy or is it going to grab me and instant kill me? Which is a not fun way of continuous dying. I know that's probably not the most elegant way to describe um, what I'm trying to say, but basically what it means is that dying in Tomb Raider and respawning feels like an integral part of the trial and error process. And I think Tomb Raider does a very good job at making it feel that way as opposed to other games 
where you would make a mistake and respawn and instead it just feels kind of like well you messed up go ahead and try again here it actually feels like you know feels like you make a mistake so that you can move forward not just fucked up do it again Movement, what do I have on? Order to take longer. Those boot. Those boots sound really useful. This animal. Yeah, that comboed with the Jaguar, enemies take longer and animal predators take longer. So I don't really need reduced noise from running. Or additional plant and mineral resources. I'm already capping out on that all the time. stare at that butt. <laughs> um, enemy awareness, predator awareness. Let's go enemy and predator awareness. Additional hide and fat, health regen, bonus XP from hunting. Obsidian blades never dull. Fuck me. The gate's open. Now I'll just have to get over there. So far, this challenge too hasn't been very challenging. And then this thing popped out. Jesus Christ! What is this? A transformer? I need to find a way to climb that, or lower it somehow. Lots of fire and obsidian. Water's filled with spikes. 
Um, this isn't moving. I think eventually I use this path to go... Oh, no, here we go. Walked right past this. Alright, so that makes things slightly less deadly. I'm gonna, I don't think I can jump back that way, though. Wait, we're on a timer here. Shit. I don't know if I can get back where I came down, supposed to go though. Ah! Well, I can dodge the arm though. That's not the hard thing. So, what is this one? side. But after you get the arms folded in, huh. all right, so with the ability to fold in the arms, there has to be a reason for folding in the arms. thing here. Either of those I can take. Nope. I don't think I can climb up that. I want to try that one more time just to see if it's like a maybe I'm not grabbing it right. In particular, I'm going to fold in. Oh, can't go that way. I'm going to fold in the totem arms and then I'm going to try and climb it. that's the big thing right now is I don't see I can't figure out the reason for lowering or for uh, withdrawing the arms the arms folded in. oh fuck <laughs> shouldn't have stopped Somehow. Ooh. I can fold the arms and then hit that to sink it. Okay. I was completely overlooking that. Totem 
Ryan's arms are folded in. Oof, got a little, a little close there. Not like that. Well, hang on though. Where? So that looks like it's climbable. No, there we go. You are supposed to do this. No, nope, I don't... Mm. I don't know, man. to go back up. Oh, because there's like a butt, like so. Ah, oh, that's not it. What the hell, man? I don't... Ugh. This one's definitely a bit more obscure than the other puzzles. And what other bothers me is it's when I respawn, it's pointing me this way. This is this is where I came from. I mean, that's a shiny, so I'm going to get that. Actually, Looks let's like just... This might be the way out. Yeah, so, so this is my exit. But I can't go around because these are all locked. I can climb up this. He just... I, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That time it worked. I mean, I tried doing that same jump before, and it's just... It was not having it. Give me the secret cookie recipe! Who's 
up to three arrows without pulling from the quiver. That's pretty OP. At the battle. Because I'm pretty sure there was an upgrade that I could have picked up that was like loose up to two arrows. And I was like, eh, I don't really want that. So instead, we just got one that lets us loose up to three. Just fuck the two straight to three. I feel like that, that was way more difficult for me than it had any right to be. Like, the start of not... No, 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 no! Oh, the, the start of, like, not seeing that I had to, to push the mechanism in after getting it spinning. And then, uh, once that was done, getting it to... You know, getting things to, to climb. To, uh... Let's try this again, Lara. Come on. Something was a little bit fucky with this one. But we got through it. And we got a badass combat upgrade for our troubles. So I'll chalk that up as a victory. And the one regret here is I feel like given how Lara's like, oh, obsidian never dulls. Like, well, why didn't you fucking grab some? Break some off. Find, I mean, there, there's tons of, of obsidian that have been wedged into wood. I'm sure you could have gotten some obsidian and upgraded your knife. Never dulling volcanic steel. But she just rolled her eyes at me. Listen here, you little bitch. I think we can explore the rest of this area before this video is done. Not getting up that way. Alright, let's go around. Look, like it's an old trap. This figure must be the owl. I don't know if I can get over there. Was this stuff that was inside the tomb? Oh my god, maybe it was. No, wait, 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 fucking hold up. Uh, 
let me go back in. Just to see. Because if it is, I can fast travel out. Oh, though, I don't think it is, because we turn. Turn. And this was pretty much a straight shot. Oh, yeah, right now we're going directly in the direction. Now, if I make the swim twice, I make the swim twice. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, that was the camp. <laughs> They're basically right past this. There should be a document and a they were down on the water document though there's the cash like the document would have been above the water Maybe something right here. Yep, there we go. Is that it? Yep. Now the question is, where do I go? I don't even remember doing this when I last came in here. I think I made a dive, and then uh, I was, you know, straight to blades and fire. I don't remember this, like, lake at all. Which also raises the question of how the hell do I get out of this little lake? But I do not see an area, unless it's this yeah like there's all the blades and shit how do I I mean obviously you're supposed to come down here because there's relics let me just go over maybe I just climb off that thing I'm up it. Go through it. Wow, this is embarrassing. Is there an entry path that I am overlooking? Don't see anything. Fuck. I am not sure. Um, I mean, this maybe.
Like, so far, the only area I've been able to get out of water is right here. Oh. I'm an asshole. All I had to do is do that. Yep, and then I jumped across this and I started doing the trials. So I did just walk past all the goodies before. Well, shit. Anyway, we're going to wrap things up. I'm going to use magical powers of fast travel. How much do I got? I got one. Oh yeah, look at that though. Where's the uh, the thing I just got? Yeah, loosen up to three arrows. The uh, where's the loosen up to two? I swear to God, there was a loosen up to two. Now I can't find a loosen up to two. Whatever, I'm not worried about it. Anyway, we can uh, we'll fast travel right back to. Uh, that one and then we'll crawl through and then we will continue tomorrow's episode back in Petiti. we will wrap up get the other collectibles that we had missed before and then from there we will make our way uh through the the challenge of death or whatever it's called that she said that nobody comes back from so anyway make sure to stay tuned more tomb raider coming your way for show sure. we'll see you all then